I'm going to show you how to reprogram a touch diamond. This is a Sprint Touch Diamond HTC and I'm going to show you how to reprogram it to Cricut. Okay, the first thing you need to do is dial pound pound 3424 pound to put the phone into diag mode. You can see right here this phone is in diag mode. Against that uh, pound pound 3424 pound. That will put the phone into diag mode. Next thing, check your device manager and see what port the phone is installed on. You can see right here, mine is installed on COM1. It says Qualcomm Diagnostic Interface COM1. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is open up a program called UniCDMA. And that's what we're going to use to read the SPC with. Okay, so click on setup, choose the COM port of your phone, mine's on COM1, and once your phone is detected here, you'll see some text. You can see right here, it says like the date, some other information about the phone, that means the phone is detected. Okay, then choose memory, <clears throat> and uh, on the memory tab, you need to enter your memory area. Uh, the memory area for this phone is, let's see, you can see it's 0x0155D1E7, and then choose length byte 6, then click read and save to file. I'll just save this as SPC. Okay, now you need to close down UniCDMA and go to the location where you saved the file. Right click on that and click open with notepad. Okay, then when you open that with notepad, you'll see your SPC right there. So my SPC is 324902. So now I'm going to copy the SPC. I'll just do Control C. Then I'm going to open up a program called QPST, and that's what we'll use to reprogram the phone. First, I'll open up QPST configuration. And when you open up QPST configuration, you can see your phone detected in there. You see, mine is on COM1 right there. If for some reason you don't see it on there you can go to uh, ports right here you'll click on ports and then go to the bottom and click on add new port and that will show you a list of the different ports that your computer sees and you're just going to want to choose the correct port for your phone in there. Again that you'll see that in the device manager Okay, but mine is already detected here, so I'm just going to click on Start Clients and Service Programming. Okay, that's going to pull up another window like this, and then you just click OK. And then that will open QPST Service Programming. First thing you're going to do on this screen is click on read from phone and right here is where you put your SPC. So I'm just going to control V my SPC in there and click OK. <clears throat> okay, now you can see I've got I've read into the phone and it's showing my SPC right here. It's also showing a one time subsidy lock right here. Change both of those numbers to six zeros. Okay, then click on the Roam tab, and right here, browse to your PRL file. This is an EVDO phone, so I'm going to choose Cricut EVDO, 
And you can also do that on NAM2. You have the option to either leave uh, NAM2 the way it is so that if you switch the phone to NAM2, then you'll be able to still connect to Sprint or you can write the PRL on both of those. I'm going to write it on both of them. So on NAM1 and NAM2, they're both going to write Cricut onto it. Okay, then go to the System tab and make sure your preferred mode is automatic. Sometimes if you have it set on digital only, it won't work. So change that to automatic. Once you've done all that, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just click on Write to Phone. Okay, once it's done writing, it should give you a, a message usually that the phone is no longer detected, but this one didn't. That's okay. I'm going to unplug it and exit out of Diag mode. And then I'm just going to dial 611 to make a test call. And I'll turn this on speaker. And you can hear that it changed to Cricket. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please visit unlock2talk.com. Thank you.